Hey everyone, I'm Kim Jacobs, The Balance Doctor, and today we're going to talk about how to balance friendships when you have a family. Now listen, just because you're married and you have children does not mean that you have to now cancel out all of your previous friendships. The friendships now, some friendships, let's be very clear, some friendships need to end because they just don't get it that you have a family and they're not trying to make adjustments to the fact that you're now a married woman with children. But then there are some friendships that are lifelong that you really can't do without, nor do you want to do without. So today we're going to talk about how to balance your life while you have friends and your family and how you can balance both of them successfully. Number one, don't connect with your friends only on Facebook. Now, Facebook or any other social media site is a great place to keep up to date with what's happening with your friends and all of your loved ones, but you need to go beyond that. Don't just only connect on social media sites. I want to make sure that you actually devote time to your friends. Whenever you do connect with them, this is point number two, make sure you officially devote your undivided attention to the conversation that you're having with your friends. That means that if you are dealing with your children, bringing them to close with the end of their day, whether it's like bringing them down for, for, for a bath or doing homework or any type of routine things that you do with your children and your family, that is clearly not the time to talk with your friends. If they're your true friends, they understand we can't talk right now because I'm trying to balance my family. But if they are your friends, you definitely want to carve out that designated time to have a quality conversation with your friends. Now when you're having that conversation, don't dominate the entire conversation. Give your friends a chance to just vent and get some things off of their chest. Catch up on what's happening with their families instead of letting the entire four or five minute conversation be all about you and everything that you have going on. That's very, very important to make a note of that. Point number three, make sure that you schedule official time to hang out with your friends. Now, when you hang out with your friends, it may not be that you can hang out for an extended period of time. You may only be able to hang out for a quick coffee break or a quick breakfast or hey we're just going to meet real quick on the side of the road and just pull over and talk for a few minutes whatever it takes as long as you're getting an opportunity to have that face-to-face -face time with your friends especially if they're local or passing through town point number four invite your friends to any type of family events that you know that they would really enjoy especially giving them the opportunity to come and see your children play sports or get some type of awards at a ceremony that's things that just really continue to strengthen your friendship. And you as well go to participate in their important family occasions. That's something that will make a difference in continuing to allow your friendship to grow stronger. As I share these things with you, I want you to do everything possible to maintain your friendship because you're important to your friend and your friend is clearly important to you. So today's tips are things that you can continue to learn more about me, The Balance Doctor, by simply subscribing right here to the YouTube channel that you're watching and I'll constantly put videos up on a consistent basis. Or you can also like me, The Balance Doctor, on Facebook and follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and all of the social media sites that are out there. This is just the tip for today and I hope it's been helpful to you. Have a great day.